what it was last time. Uh, we had microphone issues this time, so we've got a little plug-in microphone. Uh, yeah, last time. And we're going to show you a Swift Conqueror uh, that we think was a bit ahead of its time. We've got wires here, there, and everywhere. Now, on the outside, we've got four-wheel drive motor movers. We have got lots of cobwebs because we've not cleaned it yet. Um, if I can open it. We've got external 230 volt socket, storage underneath of the bed, uh, or the seats at the front, gas barbecue point. So it's all pretty much similar to what it should be on the outside. Um, the four wheel drive motor movers, they are electronic actuation, but it all sort of changes when we come inside. Um, we've got the nice big fridge freezer. Um, so we've got nice plenty plenty of room in there loads of room uh, have we actually got anybody watching it any comments three all four uh, can you see comments on there or yeah. so it's it's very much a trial and test video we're just trying to get used to actually doing a live video uh, and how badly we can cock it up basically so we thought this would be a great van um have a guess of the age see if you can come up with what age that you think this van is um because it, it is a bit ahead of its time or it was just had a lot of extras on it so we've got a nice big for uh, the the sunroof in the front here obviously the windows all the fly screens and blinds as normal we've got room for a tv so we've got a couple of 230 volt sockets we've got the 12 volt socket and an aerial up there so it's all very much similar um as i say kitchen area is a good kitchen area and we've got the the little electric hob on there and then everything else is gas but let me bring your attention to this so we've got the emp self leveling system on this so literally um which you don't see on many older vans you see it quite a lot on the the buccaneers and some of the new new swifts now have started to put that on there but on an older van it's it's pretty rare that you see it so this has got it the other thing that we've got is the little oldest panel just up the top there now this has had the panel replaced so it originally would have had the longer sort of thinner aldi control panel that had got a million buttons on there to press and try and figure out how it all worked and it was a bloody nightmare in all honesty so the newer panel's been fitted side bed which uh, i know it, it still works i know you've got to climb over each other but that might be fun um that that could be fun depending on if you still like each other um, so I don't I don't mind that. One thing I do mind uh, is with the storage under the bed. I don't like this table. They've got the table underneath the bed here, uh, which just restricts the, the access. And it's a bit of a pain to get the, the table out in and out here. But it's a good storage area. And again, we've got the original carpets underneath of here. And we've got this lovely shag pile carpet as well, which goes with the bed if, if that's what you're into. Um, you've got the little door here. That comes across uh, and separates the front and the back and then we've got a nice wardrobe have a look in that washroom see if we lose connection now because we're going further away from the wi-fi connection now but we've got a nice big shower in there uh decent room you can actually get dressed and changed in there we've got roof light over the bed roof light over the kitchen area we've got the nice little microwave plenty of storage loads and loads of storage just have a look at these if i could open them because they're the shag pile in the way oh, which we've even got some pg tips and a few rice krispies you can tell it's not been cleaned yet can't you 2011 seems to be a popular oh guess. that's a very we've good guess that's a very good guess. no yeah older than that oh a bit newer than that bit newer than that getting closer getting closer um, so, yeah, you're all sort of in the right ballpark, to be fair. Um, 2011, I think, to be fair, for a 2011, it's been really, really well looked after. It's had some nice extras put on there with the EMP levelling system, the updated Aldi, because the old one was a bloody nightmare. Um, but just huge amounts of storage. Absolutely loads, loads, loads of storage. Um and a nice van all round. It's not been knocked around. It's got the silver sides. Let's have a quick look Any on the. In the fridge, no, the there's not. No, no. no. I I did already have a look. Did it yeah, I did already have a look. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, not even any beer or nothing to be honest. Somebody said the PG tips should put it, put them off. Should be Yorkshire tea. Well, it's your your preference. Um, so yeah, but yeah, the tea's in there. We just need the kettle, get the brew on. Hopefully. 
our sound has worked a little bit better than what last time. 2011. That's yeah, so yeah, we've got some some right. some good guesses out there. Uh, it's got the silver sides, as I say, so it looks nice on the outside. It's actually got the onboard water tank, so you get an external um, water fitting that goes straight to the taps, and then you get the onboard tank as well. So it does both. You don't get the external shower. Um, so if you go to a nudist site, you can't be out there washing yourself off in front of everyone. But hey ho, um, it's kind of everything, right. can you really? Kind of everything. Um, not that, not that I'd ever do that. Hopefully, it's not gone drastically wrong um, and horrendously terrible. Um, and yeah, let us know in the comments what you thought of the little live video. We're going to do more of these. Uh, we're getting ready for something special. So uh, we've got to keep practicing these live videos and get used to it. So thanks for watching. I'm Mark at the Caravan Place. See if you can figure out how to turn it off now. You're right, Steve.